And there it is. One car goes sliding across the infield grass. William Byron, who won his qualifying race here on Thursday. And that will change everything. Certainly has changed it for that exalted 24. Contact with Ricky Stenhouse puts William Byron into the inside wall. And oh, it almost looked like Stenhouse was going to poke out and try to go by him and maybe misjudged it, made contact, turned William Byron right around. Ah. And they had just gotten a run. The 10 gets to the rear bumper, the 13. Little surge of the 47. Oh, he gets to the left side of that rear bumper. And we've seen when you try to bump draft. And here's Chad Knauss, his crew chief. You know, you work so hard. William is okay. That's the AMR safety team attending to him. Yeah, you know, you could just see as Ricky Stenhouse Jr. moved left, he just caught that left rear of the bumper. Into the safer barrier that now lines the inside of this speedway as well as the outside. The double zero has crashed here in Daytona. Rookie Quinn Houff. Other cars involved as they come to the caution flag. It'll be the fourth caution of the day coming at lap 90. That's the 52 of McLeod. B.J. McLeod got caught up in it as well. Hey, that was almost, that was a close call for our 10 of Eric Amarola also. Now those Fords had dropped to the back to try to stay clear of all this mess. And you see BJ nowhere to go, tries to avoid that wreck and then he catches the outside wall. To put him a lap down, Ooh. Oh, it looked to me like, you know, Quinn just came up a little bit more than what the 10 of Almarola was expecting and they just touched and end up turning him into the outside. Right with Kyle Larson, credit one on board camera. I just really think Eric Almarola expected, expected Quinn Hop to stay lower off of that corner and he was just gonna get to his outside, side draft him and go right on by. Mark pull out of his pit stall and nails a gas can that somebody must have pulled out of their pit stall with them when they left. <laughs> Martin, good job trying to navigate around that. Did, that. did that do any damage, though, to the nose of that 19 car? That's the question. 12 Chevrolets and Timmy Hills four. Treble turn four. One car. Stenhouse. Stenhouse Jr. No caution. We stay green as Stenhouse makes it to pit road with a lot of damage there. Oh, here comes Jones. Uh, Whoa, huge it, run. We talk about communication, and Eric Jones had no idea that the 47 of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. was coming to pit road. Hey. Trouble. Hey, Greg. Here's the big one. Man. Well, there goes half the field. Sure does. And it's Ryan Newman leading them around. Oh. And that really all started with a big push from Joey Logano. Remember Joey Logano talking on the radio earlier about you got to tell me when I'm pushing that car and it's going to make contact with the car in front of us. Well, that happened right there with his teammate. And he's going to push him all the way up to the two. And they just right before the 10 gets there there's a little bit of movement and that little bit of movement when you make that much contact turns your car right around that's exactly what happened to brad keselowski and the 10 of uh, amarola sort of swaying back and forth right before he made contact with the two hooks his bumper turns him around oh he slammed alex bowman and then it's on and for the second time in less than a handful of years Eric Almarola riding with Jimmy Johnson, our Chevy cam. Ooh. Just gets slammed. One of the cars loses control. I think that was Mark Truex Jr. Came down, made heavy contact with Jimmy on the right side. You hear it? it on 
board with Austin Dillon. He even downshifted, trying to get that car slowed down enough to avoid this accident. Really, I mean, Eric Almirola is basically the meat between the sandwich there. He's, he's getting pushed from Joey Logano. He's going up to the rear bumper. He has no choice but to bump trap the two. There's going to be a big shove here. And you see the back of the car already moving right as he gets to the rear bumper of the two of Brad Keselowski. All it takes is the slightest amount of sideways motion to get that two car of Keselowski turning sideways. What do is try to hold the steering wheel straight. I mean, this is just a aggressive racing in the end of this race. Ross Chastain was having, having such a great day. Oh! Crash in the back of the field. Eric Two Jones, cars piled up there. And Reed Sorensen. Oh, uh, sorry, Timmy Hill. Timmy Hill who was 10th after the 20 laps run yesterday, and Reed Sorensen. And Caution is out with eight to go. Yeah, anytime you see that much, those types of sparks, it basically that tire has gone down and now a car is lower down and riding on something, some steel, maybe the track bar adjuster mount. A lot of sparks out of that yeah. car. I think he cut a tire down. Oh, it slid right up in front of Timmy Hill. Textbook by Denny Hamlin. Can he put the block on? Oh, car. Oh, 77. Oh, God, that was Ross Chastain. Got down on the apron, turned him sideways up the racetrack. Straight into Ryan Priest. Chastain and we have involved. Another multi car pileup. With two to go, we'll go to overtime. There's the Connecticut kids' car. Uh, Joey Logano. Car goes sideways. He tries to correct. You know, those, those kinds of impacts for Logano, it might not look as big of an impact as what we see some of these other cars because of the damage, but when you get right into the driver's side door and that's staying. Such a run. You're really at this stage in the race, you have no choice. You just can't lift. And there's only a half a car with. A Watch uh, 77 right here. Well, and you can, I knew those cars were going to stall out. You can see right there, Ryan Priest sort of pushes Chastain down onto the apron. As soon as it gets down the apron, he loses control. Those hurt. That almost looks, Jeff, like the right rear went down with all those sparks and the car just just I, took off. I, I think the car, once he came up on the apron, the car just got a little sideways. He tried to correct, and it caught the banking and shot the nose over. Dow made it through with minimal damage. Christopher Bell go by with some damage. Daytona 500, green flag. Oh, cars got loose. Spun some tires, contact. Is that Boyer? And McDowell. Oh, man. And caution's out. We'll try it again. Boy, he was already upset about starting in that row. He would have been out of that, where that contact came from. Ooh, we saw yeah. this the other night. In the uh, in one of the duels, same or was that the maybe it's the clash, but one of the similar things where they came to the line and spun the tires with a little bit of contact. Ryan Newman, that was Ryan Newman spinning the tires, and William Byron. White flag under green. Next flag will end the race, and Newman is there. Newman's got locked onto his rear bumper just like he did. Oh, wrecking behind Chase Elliott. Around. Spinning around. No Still, green. Green. Still green. Still green. Still green, and here they come. And here comes Blaney. Ryan Blaney up behind Ryan Newman trying to get him to Hamlin. Newman backed up to Blaney. Big run coming here. To no the inside. Newman to the front. Nothing Denny Hamlin could do. What can Ryan Blaney now do? Here comes a push from Denny Hamlin. 
Well, this thing's not over yet. Not at all. Ryan Newman off turn four for the final time. Blaney to the outside, oh. to the inside. Here comes Hamlin up the outside. Wow. Crash into the wall, into the air, goes oh. Newman. Upside down. In a shower of sparks on his roof, Ryan oh. Newman comes across the line, fourth. And comes to rest. Scoring, unofficial between Hamlin and Blaney as far as who crossed the finish line first. Newman got turned, went up in the air as he came down, was hit by another car and launched skyward, coming down on his roof. The AMR safety team is there quickly to attend to Ryan Newman. Here is a look at the last lap. Denny Hamlin out in front of Newman and Ryan Blaney. Yeah, Ryan Blaney gets to his rear bumper. Nothing that Denny Hamlin can do other than try to tuck right into the rear bumper of Ryan Blaney, which he does an excellent job of. Newman gets a pretty good run to the turn four, but now here comes a huge run by Ryan Blaney being pushed by Denny Hamlin. He goes, tries to go to the outside, then the inside, they lock, lock bumpers and turns Ryan Newman around. Upside down he goes. Corey LaJoy coming along, making contact. Just lifting Newman's car up and over. And it comes to rest on its roof. Here is the second closest finish in Daytona 500 history. Denny Hamlin, the winner in both of them. This time, it is Ryan Blaney finishing second. Blaney tried the top side, tried to get low. Ryan Newman goes around, and the car goes to its roof, and here's the on-rushing Corey LaJoy picking it up and over. 